Another day on YouTube, another mistake made by the YouTube company, folks. Say it with me. They hate their content creators. There, I said it. I mean, we all know at this point, YouTube is a messed up platform. I shouldn't really have to go really in-depth with it. They never cared about their content creators. They never cared about their content creators at all and YouTube only wants to do what benefits them the most and they're the most anti-content creator platform out there probably next to Twitch when they when Twitch said they're gonna cut down all content creators money gains but YouTube hasn't even gone that far just yet but that's a topic for another day Anyway, the reason why I'm coming back here and making this video so early is because there's been a lot of controversy surrounding YouTube's new rule and how it involves swearing and you can't swear that much or you can't swear at the start of the video or you're going to get instantly demonetized because YouTube doesn't like swearing. Like, I hate to break it to you, YouTube, but... Everyone's going to swear at some point in their life, and you're going to try to make it to the point where you can't and police every word on the internet, then maybe people are going to start moving on to another platform. But at the end of the day, people are still going to upload on YouTube, and they're going to call out YouTube for being an anti-content creator platform, because like I said in the past, they hate their content creators, they don't care about their content creators feelings they don't care about their thoughts they don't care about what their content is they only want to profit off it and and make bullshit reasonings and not give a clear answer like oh you have violated our terms of service therefore your video will be demonetized okay could you tell me what i did wrong so i won't do it again you have violated one of these rules in the terms of service your video will be demonetized you're not making it clear, YouTube. Tell me what I did wrong exactly. YouTube who will not give you a direct answer. You have violated the terms of service. Therefore, your video will be demonetized. Like, that just doesn't make any sense. Now, before I get too into this explanation, I do want to say um, one of the most popular content creators out there um, Young Yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys heard about him. I'll be sure to leave the link of that video that he made in the description below. He kind of goes in depth with this this topic a lot better than I ever will. And he does a much better job of explaining it than I ever will. But I want to give my thoughts and my two cents on this whole topic as well. But I'm mostly going to focus on just the swearing aspect of the of this topic because that's kind of what a lot of people are worried about so a few days ago youtube has enrolled their new rule where at the start of the video you cannot swear for the first 15 seconds or else your video will instantly be demonetized regardless if you think about saying any bad words within the first 15 seconds no exceptions. What if I say damn or hell? Is that still a bad word? Technically, yeah, but n you're going to put yourself in danger. But YouTube has said damn or hell is technically not a bad word. And they're going to let that one slide. But what if I say it in within the first 15 seconds of the video? Oh, honestly, I'm not going to risk that part just to see what happens. But... Just to be safe, I think we all know the answer to that question. Let's let's kind of avoid the first 15 seconds because we all know YouTube is messed up. If we say damn or hell, I'm pretty sure that they're going to guarantee they're going to instantly demonetize that video. Because they're swearing. You can't swear on the platform now. And it just, it's just, you, what YouTube does, it's just complete nonsense at this point and unacceptable. Now, I believe that there was like a statement on here that I, I do want to read to you guys. I mean, it was part of, I think, their guidelines now is what they, what they have, have shown us. And a lot of people are trying to tweet this out as well. So, again, if you, I'm going to pull up the, the tweet for you guys. And I'm going to read it to you off of my phone. 
And if you want more information on this topic, again, I will gladly leave Yang Ye's video in the description down below. He goes m more in depth in this than I ever will. But the main focus point of this this is now if you're trying to swear, they're not going to let that slide. So inappropriate language, all variants of profanity are now treated equally, meaning they are different. Or and did or differentiated. I can't pr pronounce that word properly. Based on the levels of severity. Also, we are not treating words like hell and damn as profanity anymore. That's a big fat lie. However, if profanity is used within the first eight seconds, then the video will not m be monetized. But that's not true. People are saying within the first 8 to 15 seconds. Within the first 8 to 15 seconds. YouTube is not clarifying once again. Because they're making it as confusing as possible. And they're going to make it as weird and confusing as possible for creators to understand and once again YouTube does a horrible job of communicating and they make it just as confusing as ever so pretty much even though they say they are not treating words like damn and hell as swear words technically speaking they can be kind of treated as swear words if you think about it but at the end of the day it it's still technically a swear but even though they're saying it's not, let's be honest, YouTube is still going to treat it like a swear word. And they always lie to their content creators because they're a corporate company that doesn't care about their own rules. And they really don't care about the lives of other content creators. So I think it's safe to say that we shouldn't really be saying those at the beginning of the video. Hell, I would argue to say that you shouldn't be swearing in general because this is kind of what this rule is kind of implying to YouTube. Like, hey, content creators, the way I'm understanding this is, hey, content creators, guess what? We're pretty much enrolling this rule now where pretty much you can't swear at all in your entire YouTube video. So we're going to make this the next YouTube kids video. Or platform. We're making this YouTube kids all over again. If you're going to try and imply these rules. Then why don't you imply these rules over on YouTube kids app. You know. That platform that you have already. The YouTube kids app that you have. Oh wait. Nobody uses YouTube kids. And I will say this right now. I understand that there are kids that watch this watch standard YouTube videos, I understand that, and you want to make the platform kid-friendly, but at the end of the day, it's not our fault if we click on all the things like, hey, this video is not made for kids, or hey, this video will not be made for kids because of so-and-so reasons. And we have all these settings in place for a reason, like, is this made for kids? Is this not made for kids? I think I even said this in the past in one of my other videos. Like, I made my content for teenagers and young adults. That's what my content is. My video is clearly not made for kids by the way I talk. And yes, I have said multiple times, like, I, I make content for teens and young adults to enjoy. Like, it's... It's, it's pretty clear in the way I've been talking as well. And the fact that YouTube still doesn't care, it's kind of proving my point right. Like, hey, YouTube doesn't care about our content, so what's the point of even uploading th th this type of stuff if YouTube's just going to instantly demonetize it? Like, at the end of the day, YouTube just does not care about their content creators. That's all it comes down to. They don't care about their content creators. They don't care about about their profits they don't care about what they say they're trying to enforce these rules so i'm sorry for the voice crack they uh, they don't care about these rules they don't care about the content creators lives they don't care about what they do they only want to make profit by demonetizing our videos and once again 
And YouTube has yet again made another fuck up. And YouTube has once again given themselves some bad PR because they never care about their platform. So to wrap this whole video up, they're pretty much taking away swearing and in the most confusing way possible. So I will say this. Can I go through an entire video without swearing once? Absolutely, I could do that. But is YouTube going to make this more confusing and more hard to understand? Yeah, because YouTube does not know how to communicate. Even though they said in the past they're going to communicate. But the sad truth is they will not communicate. They do terrible communicating. They don't communicate at all. They make the rules confusing as possible. At this point, I think we all get it. So, at the end of the day, YouTube is just making more confusing rules that nobody cares about. And everyone is just going to get pissed off at YouTube. So, long story short, if we swear in our videos, they're going to pretty much demonetize this now. So, pretty much now, the YouTube platform is a YouTube kids-friendly only platform. So, you better not swear or else we're going to get instantly demonetized regardless even if it's at the start of the video, you're going to get instantly demonetized. So don't you swear or daddy YouTube is going to get mad at you. Oh, you said a bad word? You're instantly getting demonetized regardless. I don't care. Well, here's the thing. A lot of people are going to care because the fact is, even if you swear in the first 15 seconds of the video or in general, YouTube is going to go back to your previous videos that you made in the past. Like a video that you made five years ago, you, a, a bot from YouTube could just demonetize that video saying, hey, you swore in the first 15 seconds. And people would just be like, what? I just made this video like five years ago. How did that violate the terms of service then? Oh, because I said so. So like, what? That doesn't make any sense, YouTube. So, yeah, I can understand why people are furious about this new rule. And I can understand why people are upset about this. But, dude, this is just getting ridiculous. And at this point, people are going to literally start leaving the platform and never upload on here again. And if they do, they're going to only say negative things about YouTube, which I am not surprised about. So, with that being said, thank you guys all for listening. Let me know what you all think down below. And until next time, you guys, I'm calling out YouTube once again for being an anti-content creator platform because they hate their content creators and they never do anything good. And I'll see you all later.